imagine being able to protect your lungs as well as your liver from air pollution, dust, dirt, smoke, whatever, by doing something as simple as taking a few drops of an essential oil, putting it on a cotton ball, your collar, or someplace where you can inhale and breathe in. Well, you may be surprised, but researchers recently discovered that that is possible. And not just by a little bit. I'm talking massively protect your body or your lungs and your liver from inflammatory compounds caused by air pollution, dust, dirt, smoke, and so on. So let's look at the research title called Essential Oils Could Counter Lung and Liver Ailments Caused by Air Pollution. Research suggests the synopsis of the study was as follows. Certain ingredients in essential oils made from plants such as cloves, anise, fennel, and elang elang, I really want to say lang lang, but it's elang elang, could serve as natural treatment of lung and liver conditions caused by air pollution according to a new study published in Environmental Chemistry Letters is August 2016. I want to say 2013. Study parameters are as follows, and these are important in order to understand how the study is conducted and how it may translate to you. Essential oils reference cloves, anise, fennel, and ylang ylang. Citation title Essential oil components increase pulmonary and hepatic cell inflammation induced by air pollution, particulate matter. Known study parameters are published in full. Full HTML, I should say. Funded by, I assume it's these two universities, please researchers, list your funding source just so we can make sure there's no account conflict of interest or COI. Study participants was in vitro, meaning it was not in animals, it was not in humans, but it was something like a test tube or a petri dish. The time of exposure or time of the study was 48 hours in which they exposed certain cell lines, lung and liver, to particular matter, pollution, of 2.5 micrometers or below. Dosage. Exposed cells to 20 micrometers, I assume that's the droplet size of the essential oils, for the following anti-inflammatory effect assessment. The materials, you could read through as follows. The air pollution even, I guess it was a particularly bad year for air pollution in Lebanon because the, the particular matter is actually sourced from Lebanon 2011. Results, and this is the part that's pretty phenomenal. To back up a little bit to exactly what is causing the inflammation, it is as follows. Fine particular matter was found to induce inflammation in the cells. The cells start to increase pro-inflammatory cytokines, interleukin-6 and interleukin-8, substances that are secreted during infections in tissue damage. So knowing that these essential oils can reduce interleukin-6 and interleukin-8, plays even a greater role than just what happens when exposed to contaminants in the air. Results. This is the part that is just incredible. The level of cytokines interleukin-6 decreased up to 96%. So it reduced that inflammatory compound by up to 96%. And the levels of cytokine interleukin-8, 87%. We're not talking some miracle drug, we're just talking a simple Common essential oil, whether it be clove, anise, fennel, or ylang ylang. The findings provide the first evidence that natural essential oil components counteract the inflammatory effects of particulate matter such as those contained in polluted air. All right, let's go a little further into the study just to give you a little bit more detail. They looked at the oil components. If you notice, there's four different oil components here, and each one's a little unique between anise and fennel the basil, the clove bud oil, and the ylang ylang. All right, look at these charts. Now keep in mind, you gotta read these charts in reverse. The lower the bar, the better. The top part of the bar is your control, so you see how it kind of uh, goes across the screen. That's your inflammatory compounds, either interleukin-6 or interleukin-8. The first two, chart A and B, are how well the four components of each of these individual essential oils lowered those inflammatory compounds. The last one, obviously C is the inflammatory compounds in regard to the liver. And it still worked, believe it or not, reducing those two compounds down just by exposure to these essential oils. To conclude what the researcher said, and this is to quote, now keep in mind A and B is the effect on the lung cells and C is the, actually the effect on liver carcinoma cells. To, to conclude what the researcher said is actually quite phenomenal also. Remember, that's to translate to humans, but still, it's promising. These results confirm those recently obtained showing that several essential oil components have the ability to protect cells from inflammation 
or cancer development, suggesting, this is their quote, that such extracts could be used as food supplements, pharmaceutical antibiotics, or medical agents. Now keep in mind, each one of these oils was tested separately based upon its unique uh, chemical profile. I would love to see what the effect would have been if they were combined. Now again, that has to be researched. Combining them, you never know what's going to happen until they actually do the study itself. Again, extremely promising, extremely effective. I know for myself personally, I'm going to keep a little bit of clove oil in the medicine cabinet or whatever, just in case something nasty is going on in the outside, smoke, dust, you know, who knows. Again, Ralph Turchiano signing off. I really do hope you find this information useful. And as always, I'll catch you next week. Thank you once again. Bye.